are going up the grapevine. And he likes photoshopping a lot of uh, um, oh his pictures God. on his website. You never oh know. Someone might do that right back to him. God, that's funny. Well, happening in Fresno last night, we were going to go, and then Andrew goes, no, I'm not going to leave the house for that. What did you do last night? Did up. you just watch it on HBO? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, ESPN. This one was ESPN, Lee. Okay, so uh, here's how it works. <laughs> last night. And it looked great. On it HBO looked, looked from Fresno, California. It was Fresno, right? Did I get it right? Yes. Fresno. Yes, sir. All right, so here's, here's the story. Uh, the headline, as it reads, Ramirez destroys Reed, Butterbean KOs Coling late in the fight. Photos and pictures by Bill Trio and German Villasenor. I know it's not, it's her main. Calm down, everyone. Fucking Andrew's already got his family writing. Me. Why does he call it German? It's her main, bro. It's her main. His name's Herman. Her main. Why, why, his name's German, right? G-E-R-M-A-N. It's German. And Jesus is not Jesus. It's Jesus. Sorry. Just is. Super lightweight, uh, early in the night, uh, super lightweight, Jose Carlos Ramirez. Please, the hometown crowd as he dismantled That's the Mike main Reed. event, Lee. That's the main event. Bert Butterbean was the co-main event. Oh, was it? They put that yes. one in as the main Mm. Oh, this kid, Jose Ramirez, is the real deal, bro. Yeah, hey, listen. He is the one that's been selling out Fresno for a while for top rank. Um, they did a major story on him uh, last night on the ESPN card. Guy's really big in his community, um, really big in the farm farming community. He's actually been uh, fighting for the farmers, I guess, on the water issue in California um, for a while now. And, and that's why the people are responding. The people are responding. You know, this is this should have been an eye opener to to some of the past Mexican American fighters that have allowed this opportunity to pass them. Lee, but bro, we'll go on with the are fight. you telling me there are Mexican American fighters? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. All the time, these guys have always tried to play like they're from L.A. They're from Mexico. They try moving there, learning Spanish. All this. BS. Are you trying to tell me that boxing is racially motivated? Uh, God. It always has been. You know, no, you got, when, who, Andrew. Who it? it should who be about the, two, the fighter and their skill. Who are the two fighters from Kansas City? Sorry, I'm Move making to shock Oxnard? as much as I can, but that's about all I can pull off, man. Who who was it, Lee? Who was it? Uh, Ortiz, Victor Ortiz, and uh, Brandon Rios, bro. Both of those dudes aren't from Oxnard. They're not from L.A. They're they're from Kansas City, but they had them relocate. They have them try to act like they're from out there. Gets them a better fan base. Andre Ward, even in the American side, Andre Ward isn't from Oakland. Andre Ward is from Hayward, California. Everyone in the Bay Area knows that. Nobody knows thinks Andre's from Oakland. That's one of the issues they had, I think, in the Bay Area is, is playing that fake shit, Lee. You know, you know, when people know where you're from, don't go on TV. I'm going to give you another example. Okay. Nonito Donaire. Anyone who's ever paid, to Nonito Donaire's, paid attention to Donaire's career this kid had like four cities as his hometown go coming up. He's from Hayward, California. He went to school in San Leandro. Why do you have South City, Daly City, San Francisco, Hayward? Like, so come on. The day, they know they label you as fake. I'm telling you, there is a there is a Mexican American fan base here that can back any Mexican American that's willing to 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 uh, represent where they're from. For the Filipinos, Nonito Donaire never had to go to the Philippines. He never had to play that role like he was uh, some Filipino-born citizen that moved to America. That That's not the case. He might have been born there, Lee, but he was raised in America. We have South San Francisco. We have San Francisco. This kid had the fan base. Top rank never even tried to sell Nonito Donaire in the Bay Area. And I believe it was because he, they owe too much money to Pacquiao. That has always been the rumor behind why Top Rank kind of pushed Donaire to the side when he was the biggest, what, knockout puncher for at least two years in this sport. The kid was getting knocked out of the years. They they had to pay Manny like 20, 25 million a fight. They didn't want to make Nonito another star. Politics got him. Uh, they never even tried. I, I guarantee you, Lee, if they would have put Nonito Donaire in his prime in San Francisco, in San Jose, that kid would have sold out those arenas. Cool. 
So a Jose good, Ramirez, he tapped take. in. I was testing. I was testing out music beds underneath you. You can't hear it, and I'm hoping in the final mix down, people can hear the music in the background. I think it's a new element I'm adding to the show. Jose Ramirez tapped in to that fan base. Uh, I salute that. Good for not being fake. He's representing where he's from. And you know what? 14,000 people showed up last night. They're they're showing up, Lee. Well, what about it, Artur Butterbean? He looked good. He looked good. He but fought he's a no nobody. Andre, he's no Andre Ward. He's no he. No, let's just go off what he looked like. He's two comes forward. No head movement. Defense subpar. You know he's a good pressure fighter. If you guys like someone that is constantly to come forward throwing straight right hands, he's your man. But against Andre Ward, he gets destroyed. There's nothing there. This is you know uh, this is what I meant. But Andre kind of had the easy road and said he retired, but. We got a we got a piece of it last night. This guy's in no league awards. He's an IBF champ. Whatever. What I even think Sergey Sergey if Sergey shows that he still has it uh, in his next fight coming up here in a few weeks, he'll be the WBO champ. I think you unify with this Butterbean real fast, real fast because he's still green. And then you can make Sergey get a lot of confidence behind him and maybe possibly build up that Adonis Stevenson fight uh, uh, again. So you were watching that on ESPN. What food were you eating? Um, pizza. We had my mics. I had I had one of my nieces over last night, so the kids want pizza. I'm not a pizza guy, and I had two slices. They ate the rest. What kind of pizza? Uh, Mountain Mike's. We do one. What was it? Mountain All meat. Mike's. Is it one, any good? Yeah, that's yeah, decent. I I only I prefer pizza only from San Francisco, Lee. I work out there a lot, so I'm kind of spoiled. So I don't really like fast food chain pizzas anymore. Dude, I've got a Giordano's in the other room. I got a deep dish ready to go for football. Right, right. So yeah, that's me. That's Just why I don't room. really round table. No carne Donald's. asada. No guy standing around the barbecue on the nah. new concrete. Right you know, kind of miss. Aren't we missing what the you got? Aren't we missing the Mexican fighters on HBO right about now? Let's ah, make damn. our segue over to HBO. No, Jacob thing. whitewashes areas with ease. Danny Jacob won an Ugh. easy 12-round unanimous decision over previously beaten Luis Arias. If uh, if this were a holding contest, Arias would have won. That's right. As, that's right. Just as go to... that's all he did throughout the entire fight. Jacob Let me tell tried you, to get Lee. something started, but every time he did, he'd land. Final scorecards, 118, 109, 119, 108, 120, 107. Take it away, Andrew. I'm not t- I just want to throw something in there. If you ever need to go to sleep, watch this fight. Dead serious. It's put me to down twice now. Try to watch it again this morning. Went down again. Look. That boring, huh? Yeah, dude. Like, the first round, the kid gets hurt, and he turns off all chances of him winning. Right? He's just in defense mode, like, two minutes into this fight, Lee. It's pathetic. Like... His punches aren't the same as Danny Jacobs. You can see there's definitely a diff, uh, difference in their in their um, talent. Uh, Arias just was overmatched. He wasn't prepared. He did not belong on HBO. I'm dead serious about that. That was kind of like it was kind of an embarrassment. Danny Jacobs couldn't take him out because Jacobs is proclaiming he's the best. You got to beat fighters like this a little bit more convincingly, even then, though he probably got all 12 rounds, right? I didn't watch, like, the last three. I, I, it was just, I was done. I was done with the whole, you know, to be honest with you, it was a bunch of mismatches all day. Um, boxing is going to have to change this soon, Lee. People, the diehards are not, and I'm including myself as a diehard fan, we are not going to stay home to watch these sort of fights live anymore. We're just not. They've got to get more competitive. They've got to get back to getting two names on HBO that we actually know, that we actually care about. <clears throat> These undefeated records, but have no um, fighters on their resume, have, have no reason of being in the ring. These, these matches need to stop, and we've seen them all day again yesterday. Um, even even in the first fight, that Roberto, Roberto Ortiz had no business in there with the hammer. Wait, what is that other guy called? What do they call the in the first fight, Lee? No, I don't know. Little... I, I don't know. I, don't know. I didn't watch the first fight. Oh, come on. Well, the guy just murders him. I mean, and then, if you remember Ortiz, 
He got murked you mean when Gerald he came. Gerald Miller and uh, no, 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 no. Miller is the heavyweight. Stop for Alberto Ortiz. Yes, yes. Right, that fight go. right there, total mismatch. In the next fight, two fat asses. Lee, these guys. It was like freaking watching uh, uh, Jamal Miller. He reminds me of a bigger James Tony. You know, got a lot of talent. You can see the guy has something behind there, but he just, he likes to eat. He's got titties flying around. He's got a gut. It, it doesn't look impressive at all. I mean, he's Did being you really lazy. Did say titties? Oh, man, that's what they look like. They both had man boobs just flying around, Lee. That thing was embarrassing. These guys are in the inside. James Tony would have lit both of these dudes up. I'm dead serious. They tried to fight a Tony-like style. James Tony would have murked them as a middleweight. It's embarrassing. You take your take your career a little bit more ser- serious, Miller, because you look like the real deal. You really do. He does. I'm telling you, poor man's Tony is what I seen last night. So take it a little more serious. Run some freaking laps, man. There's a lot of money to be made in these heavyweight divisions. There is no time to be that out of shape. It's just it's embarrassing. Um, so yeah, the whole night was kind of a letdown. Um, I really liked the Ramirez kid um, on back to ESPN. I really liked their uh, their um, the, the the whole fight. Lee, there was fourteen thousand people on ESPN again. Lee, don't you know? Does anyone realize every show that ESPN that Top Rank has put on this network has looked like a sold out? This must be the thing you're doing on Saturday night kind of event. There was 50,000 in the Pacquiao. That was the first fight the average Joe got to watch. And last night, I mean, hell, Fresno, California looks like Las Vegas. And I'm going to tell you, I think um, Fresno... For anybody Cal- listening, wherever you are in the country, I'm before you get... Cri- no, you don't want to book your travel plans to Fresno. It doesn't matter. There's nothing does, in If they Fresno. bring the championship fight back there, why not? Why not? It's cheap. You're going to see a championship fight, and it's going to be a great Dude, I'm not driving to Fresno to watch anybody fight. I'm like, the only reason you. I'd go is because you would have went, and we could make fun of Bill Trio. Lee, you go to fights all day. We're talking all about day. the guy that never gets to go to championship-type matches. Fresno right now might be the hot spot for California on supporting boxing and their fighters. I haven't seen Staples Center sell out. We just watched... What, Marez and Santa Cruz both fight in the same venue. They didn't bring in 6,000 people. This kid brought in 14,000 by himself. Oakland, California, San Jose, San Fran, none of these, Sacramento. When have you ever seen any of these places sell out the way Fresno has consistently for Jose Ramirez? I think they're the best boxing fans in California right now. And that's speaking a lot. Lee, L.A. used to be it, right? L.A. used to be the spot. Mexicans showed up for their fighters all the time. They're just not doing it right now. You don't see the same turnouts that I see happening in, in the middle of California. Okay. Uh, I, you're not going to convince what they me. Call if Central? you're not going, Andrew, I'm not driving there. I hear you. No, I hear you, but you're spoiled. You're you, you're out of the equation on this one, dude. I'm telling you. Dude, I bought a car specifically so I could drive to the middle of nowhere and go watch crazy shit. Yeah, but you you know it's not you know the. You're I like spoiled. taking the Ferrari hey. out, Andy. I'm just being honest. Yeah, you like steaks. You like the big lights. You like shows. I know. Ver- Wheeling, not- dealing, <laughs> high flying, kiss dealing. That's right. Woo. <laughs> Huh. And I hope everybody had a chance to watch the Ric Flair special this week on ESPN because it's the greatest 30 for 30 of all time. If for nothing more than the I masturbated twice a day and banged over 10,000 women. <laughs> wow, Ric Flair. Wow. Yeah, right. And uh, give all your feedback to Andrew whether or not you guys like the music in the background. We might even let Andrew pick next week. If you guys are, are favorable to it. If you do not comment vote, and they say, Lee. if we get no comments about it, I'm going to keep putting music in the background. How did the bets go? How did how the bets go? Yes, you're or, betting or, this weekend. Horrible. Oh, Dude, Georgia, like Georgia, which was his mortal lock, turned out to be a shit show yesterday in college. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Which screwed up every parlay card. I had a get healthy card happening last night. I don't know. Dude, I'm, I, 
it was a once you lose the big game on your card, and Notre Dame was a shit show. 